It is now night three of crews battling the Three Rivers fire near Ruidoso. Favorable weather yesterday and today are making a massive difference in those efforts. News 13's Annalisa Pardo is live in Ruidoso tonight with the latest. Annalisa? Dean. Whoa, <laughs> Dean, rain and those cooler temperatures really helped slow that fire down, but also the wind that helped carry that fire towards the Little Bear burn scar area helped as well. And I talked to a couple who lost everything in that fire and were ready to evacuate again this time. We were saved by the Little Bear fire that destroyed us the last time. The wind carried the fire towards the Little Bear fire, which is a blessing, but if not, if he would have hit the areas that weren't burnt and he started torching the big trees, uh, we would have been, I tell you, we would have been in a world of hurt. Fire officials say there's less vegetation there, which helps, but there is still some dryness that can easily burn. I spoke with the Forest Service within the past hour, and they say the fire is still burning a 12,000 acre perimeter and is 5% contained. They say thanks to the rain, it hasn't grown. The fire is also burning about 240 acres of the Mescalero Apache tribal land. It caught us off guard because uh, the the Three Rivers side, that's the back side of the reservation. It's very rocky and steep up there. Steep up there. Um, it, I would say, it, if anything, it would be uh, type one country for hot shot crews and everything. I don't, it's, you can't get engines up there. It, it'd probably be air support. No structures or homes are threatened right now, and there are no evacuations on tribal land. Most of the evacuations in the surrounding area have been lifted, but officials are still asking people to be prepared in case conditions change. Now, the Forest Service tells me they are expecting another day of rain and cooler temperatures tomorrow, but say that those conditions can change on Friday. Back to you. All right, Annalisa, thank you. Fire officials spent the day working on the south end of that fire. There are six Type 1 crews right now battling the fire, and additional resources arrived today.